Hello and welcome to Workshop Studios. Uh, today we're talking about painting a stairwell and this one goes down to the basement. See way down there? Ah! So, the, uh, it's not like it's, it's super difficult and it's, that it's just walls and a ceiling and some trim, but the difficulty is how do you do that without falling down the stairs? It's a long way down there. So, we're going to talk about some tricks and tips and I guess you call them hacks nowadays about how to do that. So thanks for joining and follow along as we talk about painting a stairwell without falling down the stairs or getting up on a ladder. Alright, so here's the top of the stairs or if you want to call it the, the landing at the top and then the landing at the bottom and they go at a right angle down at the bottom there. So, no big deal, and the ceiling isn't super high. I'll reach up here so you can kind of see my hand. I'm not touching the ceiling, but I'm maybe a foot and a half away from it now. So it's up there a little ways. So getting to be able to paint the ceiling and the walls, um, in a sense, isn't really that challenging. You put a roller on a, on a pole, and you can get up there and, and roller that ceiling, and then the the wall's the same thing. The real challenge is where do you put the paint trays? Because obviously you can't put it on the stairs. So one way to do it is you put the paint tray up here and then stand down or stand up here and roller and put it up in the ceiling and the walls and I'll show you that. And then the other trick is to go down the stairs a little ways and dip into the paint tray here and then you can use it to roller some of the other things. But the real challenge comes more down at the bottom. All right, so here we are going around the corner, and there is the landing going up. And so now we were just standing up there, and we're looking up it now. And the difficulty is you put your paint tray like down here or something, and then try to dip, and oh, it's a mess. And then you can't really reach the ceiling from here, if you can see them like that. So the other one you look at is you go, okay, I'm gonna go up the stairs here, and then I'm gonna, Put the paint tray down there and dip into it but it's a long way down there and then i can't get the pole up because i'm right here at this wall so here's the trick here we go <laughs> not much of a hack we just built a little scaffolding here use the regular old uh, ladder i did turn around in this case so the uh, regular um, ladder steps are over there and I've turned it around and put it on the first step and it just brings it a little closer in and then just a an old shelf here and the paint tray can sit there and that way it can dip down into it and then come up and paint ceilings and walls with it I think this will work so let's give it a try again here I am standing in the middle of the stairs the tray up here for doing up back up in here Put the tray there and then the tray down in here while I'm standing about the same place down here to get a lot of this stuff done. All right. So painting the stairwell, you know, there's lots of great products that allow you to put stuff on a pole and you can use that to use a roller or a, um, a, a pad approach. And I, that's fine. That's what I'm going to use. The real problem is where do you put the paint? <laughs> so you gotta have a paint tray for rollers and so here's the hack there's a paint tray that can go on that little scaffold if you want to call it the little platform down there and I'll put one up here so paint the tray paint tray here for you know standing up here painting and a paint tray down there for painting the rest of it the ceiling and the, and the walls so hopefully that makes sense and here's what it looks like down here you can see I've got the ladder turned around. This is the normal way you'd go up the ladder, but I've got it turned around just because <clears throat> in our particular stairwell, um, it's easier to get that up onto that first step and I can, I can do it that way. So that's one way to look at it. You just find a board to put across there and now I can put the paint tray right there and use it to paint up the stairwell. And if I want to get the paint up just a little bit higher, I just moved the ladder up to this second step it's kind of balancing now it's not necessarily the safest but I don't all it has to do is hold on to a paint tray I'm not going to stand on this or anything 
and now that sits us up a little higher makes it a little easier to stand up in this area paint tray there and use that as a place to to dip and get paint up on the wall so let's uh, take a look and see what that looks like while we paint and here's another configuration so you can lean the ladder back against the wall hooked onto there and then use again use it to put a board across there and get you up a little higher then so each stairwell is a little different it seems like and you can play around with this and see what the best way it is for your stairwell but uh, yeah that works out pretty well so one way or the other we'll get a paint tray on here and uh, lots of different fun ways to do this to build a very easy cheap you know scaffolding if you might or a platform to put your paint on and remember this is not for stepping on this is just to put the paint tray on I'm gonna be standing on the stairs up there and dipping into the paint tray down here no standing standing is right out <laughs> all right so here's the setup there's the ladder the paint tray is in there I've put it into a plastic mixing tub that they sell at Home Depot and Lowe's for concrete and stuff but it's a great sort of um, catch basin in case anything spills everything's pretty solid so let me just show you what that looks like All right, so you just saw me going super fast there, but <laughs> that's the first coat on. <clears throat> I'll do two coats on this one. So I'm gonna leave the setup in place. Um, and really, if you're doing this, just be mindful that <laughs> the setup is probably longer than twice as long or three times as long as the actual painting. <clears throat> the only tricky bit is you gotta balance on the stairs and not get vertigo as you're looking up and standing on a set of stairs. Uh, and secondly, you got to have the strength to be able to hold that pole out there. Um, but other than that, it's just pretty straightforward. And, <coughs> excuse me, um, my order of painting is ceiling, then walls, and then the trim down here, at least in this hallway area. And that way um, I can do an edge. Um, I've got a pad that I can use for edging that with the wall paint. So hopefully that'll go very smoothly. <clears throat> and I'm going to continue that color scheme, which is blue on the walls and then uh, flat white on the ceiling. And the uh, trim is going to be an oil paint. And this is what this looks like from down below. So there's our tray. Inside of the bigger bucket. And we stand about there. And we can dip and go up and get the ceiling. So I think we're time for a second coat now. Anyhow, that's how it looks. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> so, that's the ceiling done. And now the walls um, do the same thing. We'll set up the tray down there and the tray up here uh, and basically take it from there. The only difference um, is that along this edge we need to be able to put the blue, in this case we're doing blue, as a wall color you can see down there, put the blue up against that and we want to make sure we don't get any blue on the ceiling because that is a very hard one to fix because um, I can't get up there except with a pole. So I'm going to use a, um, a pad I'll show you that in a second uh, to, to get along and cut that edge in and I'm just gonna take my time and do it very carefully see if that'll work all right yet another configuration that you can try out is to use these kinds of stacking boxes I'll show you hey voila <laughs> so stacked up high and makes it easier to get to from up in the stairwell so yet another idea all right another trick I'm gonna try is this is the pad to go up against the 
you know, if I'm trying to get a, a nice clean edge here, this is the one with the little wheels on it. You can see them there. But getting this loaded up with paint without getting these wheels wet, it's always a challenge. So I'm going to try something a little unique here. I've got one of these, which are just, you can buy these containers just about anywhere for just, you know, a buck or so. So I filled it up with paint, and I'm going to use that to load the paint on here just by doing this. So I can just keep putting a, a load of paint on, and then I'll go up and do it. I can't do it here while I'm, I've only got one hand, so I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, here we go. And this is another trick somebody showed, is go up and just touch it like that. You don't have to roll her down the side like this. So what I'm doing is just pushing it up against the ceiling like that and it gives a pretty clean line. So I'm going to keep doing that. But anyhow, this way I can very carefully and slowly work my way down, up and down this, this area without um, getting paint on the ceiling. All right, well, there it is all done. Blues on the side and down there, white up there and at least one coat of alabaster on the trim. So it's looking good. And uh, did it without using, you know, having to climb on a ladder. So good luck with your painting projects. And uh, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.